Hello. Before we begin with my new comic book day haul, What's in My Pull List, I'm going to spotlight a couple books that I'm dropping off to get cleaned and pressed by Hot Off the Press. Now, Scott's done a couple of books for me previously. Uh, X-Men 130, uh, First Appearance of Dazzler, which came back in excellent grade, 7.0. He also did uh, a Captain America 111 for me which would have been a lot higher than what it got graded, only because Jim Steranko tore the cover accidentally. It came back a 6.0, so it probably would have been a 7.0, 7.5, maybe even an 8. He does a great job. I dropped off a couple books previously with him. They are now going to be back, and I'll show them a little bit later in this video. But I'm going to show a couple books I'm dropping off next to get cleaned and pressed. Now, this one, to the naked eye, looks tremendous. It should be a 9.8. But because it's of incredible importance to me. I want this book to have a little DLC through Hot Off the Press, and that is Something is Killing the Children, issue number one, first appearance of Erica Slaughter. Love it. So this is my lone copy of the first printing. I'm going to get this one cleaned and pressed. And a book that I actually just picked up recently at Heroes Con, a book that I've been searching for for a couple of years in a good, good grade, but this one definitely could use a cleaning and a little bit of a pressing but this is aquaman issue 42 this gorgeous movie poster style cover from the late 60s and uh i'm hoping scott does a great job with this one uh i can't see there are a little defects with this that can that i know with his skill set he can definitely uh press out but again i think it could use a good cleaning the pressing will definitely help Eventually, this book will get slabbed because I love the cover so much. Again, Aquaman 42, the first appearance, or pardon me, the second appearance of uh, Black Manta. Just a gorgeous cover. If you notice, they removed the trade dress and actually included uh, the title of the book right down there into the artwork. Something that's pretty rare, but again, it's just gorgeous. All right, something's killing the children. Issue number one, Aquaman 42. They're off to get cleaned and pressed. And now it's time to hit Retro Rocket Comics. Hit the music. Hello, Comic Army. My name is Chris the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. Okay, so the two books that I dropped off for Hot Off the Press have come back. Now, as you just saw before the intro, I have two more books going in. A couple weeks ago, I dropped off an Amazing Spider-Man that is a reprint from South Africa. And I also dropped off Ultimate Fallout for the first appearance of Miles Morales. Now, I do have my new comic book day haul right here. We're going to get into that. But I'm first going to show the quality from Hot Off the Press and the terrific job that he did. So this is the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 21 from Super Comics. Again, a reprint based out of South Africa, but also does books for Zimbabwe. So this is the great job that he did. Now you can see some wrinkling there. That's actually in the bag itself. That's uh, just the bag, not the book. So if you can remember, there was a lot of spine ticks that were through here. He really smoothed it out. Uh, I'm strongly considering... Uh, submitting this just so that I could have it uh, in a slab. It'd probably come back somewhere between a two and a half and a five. It's a big range, but because the book is considerably older, the paper quality is not as good as some of the other stuff. I'm figuring they may they may uh, judge it a little bit more harshly as they should. There is some color breaking stuff here, but again, to have a book. From South Africa, that's your favorite character. For me, the Amazing Spider-Man, that's, uh, that's pretty damn cool. Okay, the other book I mentioned was, of course, Miles Morales' first appearance. And uh, it looks terrific. Now, it's a little hard to judge because it's in a top loader and a bag and board. But Chris at Retro Rocket Comics, by the way, my LCS, your LCS, please make sure that you're following Retro Rocket Comics across all their social media platforms. Again, thank you, Chris, for having my pull list waiting for me. Uh, he mentioned that Scott, the owner of Hot Off the Press, said the book was in good shape, but there were a couple things that he got to take care of. 
And what I'm presuming he meant is probably uh, probably stuff that needed to be pressed away. Now, there was no spine ticks that I could see when I looked at it originally, but maybe there was something that he found because obviously he is the pro. And uh, again, here is uh, the information for Hot Off the Press. If you're situated anywhere in southwestern Ontario or even Toronto or even just on the other side of the border in New York or Michigan, you may want to give Scott an opportunity. Just reach out to him. He has terrific prices. Uh, this is now the second time that I've used them. And four of my books have come back considerably better. And uh, so, yeah, I'm happy to have this cleaned and pressed. I'm, I'm shooting for the stars. I want a 9.8 when it comes to this book. I got to admit, 9.8 at this point uh, because it just looks fantastic. First appearance of Miles Morales, the Spider-Man for a new generation. Let's get into New Comic Book Day and what's in my pull list. Uh, my Spider-Man for my generation is Peter Parker. And this is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 52. This is a terrific variant cover done by Lobos. And uh, I just think it's nice. Amazing Spider-Man 52. Next we have Captain America issue number 10. Pretty nice cover. Not great, but pretty nice. A fantastic cover belongs to the Invincible Iron Man. This is Iron Man 19, where we can have, where you see War Machine just unloading on Iron Man. It's been very good lately. Uh, just a gorgeous cover. Gorgeous cover uh, by the master Alex Ross for the Immortal Thor issue 12. Fantastic cover. We'll switch over to some independents. Uh, an independent that I've been reading right from issue number one all the way through to issue 24, which I got here, is The House of Slaughter. This is great. Great. If you weren't a fan of the first arc, fine. It's switch gears big time. This is something you need to have in your pull list. It is really, really good. I'm not going to stop singing its praises until I get a bad issue. And there hasn't been one. It's been great all the way through. House of Slaughter. Now, when it comes to cover of the week, this is 1B. Because I've really struggled between this book and the issue I'm going to show next. This one is done by Puppeteer Lee, who hits the ball out of the park every time. Puppeteer Lee is a fantastic new artist. Uh, this is Spawn 354. With this gorgeous cover by Puppeteer Lee. Again, 1B candidate for cover of the week. Hardcore Spawn fans are, are probably going to disagree with me and say that this is. But I went with a different book for cover of the week. And this next book is just that. It's cover of the week. Cover of the week belongs to Gabriel Del Otto. It, with issue 149, the B cover variant for Batman. And this is just gorgeous. I went with this one just because it's a little bit brighter than the Spawn book. And as you can see, Bane in front of this tunnel of fire and Batman in considerable bad shape taking on Bane. I just cover the week. If I have to argue this one for being cover of the week, I guess I'm going to have to. But it is just tremendous. The, the attention to detail is spectacular. And the last book I'm going to show is also another great cover, let's be honest. Uh, this is issue 10 of Wonder Woman. You have bunch, a bunch of different uh, takes on Wonder Woman there. You have Diana herself. You have Yara Floor. Uh, let's see, you also have Trinity. It's... Uh, just solid cover, solid cover. Tom King's doing a great job with this, and Pierre is doing fantastic with the artwork. Pound for Pound, one of the best DC titles out there right now. Belongs to Wonder Woman. That's it. That's all. That's my new comic book day haul. What's in my poll list? Uh, let me know what you think of those books that I uh, that I got clean and pressed. Good choices? We'll see. And uh, again, 
Uh, if you're interested in seeing the Dazzler and the Captain America 111, how those books graded after they were cleaned and pressed by Hot Off the Press, check out my haul video, the Sunday edition of Heroes Con. Uh, I'll leave the link at the end of this video, and you can see those grades that came back from CGC for the on-site grading at Heroes Con. So we see you again. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up button, the like button. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and if you're interested in becoming a channel member, there are two tiers for you to select from to join a channel membership and become a member of the Comic Army. Take care.